social engineering has become the most common attack method. With these attacks, hackers can use emails and websites to try to steal information from users. Phishing is a social engineering attack that uses emails to trick users into clicking on malicious links or attachments. Let's hop into the Kali Lab and I'll demonstrate how an attacker could use a phishing attack. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how an attacker could create a fake website and use it to harvest credentials. So in Kali we'll go to Applications social engineering tools, and then the social engineering toolkit. Then we'll select option one. Here's a list of social engineering attacks you could do with Kali. We're going to do website attack vectors. Then we'll select option three and site cloner. So the site cloner attack has the ability to actually clone a website page which could then be used to direct people to your version of the web page which could be used to harvest credentials so what I'm going to do in my lab I'm not doing this actually outside in the real world because <laughs> I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes I'm going to clone the Facebook login page and then I'll access that page put in my credentials and then show you how you can see what credentials are entered into the fake web page in Kali. So let's get started. We'll go to Site Cloner. So now it wants us to put in the IP address that we would want to direct people to for this web page. So I'm just going to use the local IP address of my Kali box since I'm only going to be testing it locally. All right, so I'm going to copy my Kali IP address, close this window, paste that in. Now we just need to put in the URL of the website that we want to clone, which in my case is going to be Facebook. Hit enter. So at this point, if I were to web browse to the IP address, of my Kali box, I should get the Facebook login page. I'll put in credentials and then we'll be able to see which credentials were entered. So I'll minimize this, pull up a web browser, and I'll put in the IP address of this Kali box. And there you go, I have a Facebook login page. So this looks legitimate. To be honest, if I was redirected to this page, Regardless of the URL being different, I would probably look at this and just put in my credentials. So let's do that. Let's put in Kelly at gmail.com. And then on password, I'll just do Cisco and hit login. And then it just fails and takes you directly to the Facebook page. So what would happen here is the victim would put in their credentials get redirected to the actual Facebook page, log in, and not know the difference. They would have no idea that they just entered their credentials on a fake website. So let's minimize this and go back to our terminal. And here you go. I now have harvested the credentials that were entered on that login page. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's great. An attacker could just launch this locally. But all an attacker would have to do to make this actually work in the real world would be to create some hyperlink, email it to you, have the email tied back to Facebook somehow, they click on that link, and would then be connected to the fake web page. So please do not use this in the real world. I am only showing you this so that you understand what attackers can do and how easily they could use a phishing attack to steal somebody's credentials. The key takeaway here is to not click on unknown or suspicious links. The best way to prevent phishing attacks within your organization is user awareness. As a cybersecurity professional, it is your responsibility to make sure that users are educated when it comes to attacks like phishing.
cybersecurity notices should be sent out constantly to remind users to look out for suspicious activity.